Center presents Alumni Talks, a series of episodes featuring success stories from our very own trailblazers sharing lessons and experiences to help you jumpstart your career. Tell your story, share your lessons, create your own future. Good evening, Trailblazers, and welcome to Alumni Talks. This is Grace Raja, and I will be your host for tonight. Join me as we we'll listen to our dear alumni Trailblazers as they share to us their corporate experiences and talk about their work, life, and everything else in between. For tonight's episode, we will be talking about how to ace virtual interviews by taking some tips from our alumni Trailblazers. Okay, let's get this started. Our first alumni guest for tonight is currently the founder and business development head of Athenian Software Development and business development head of Wella School Systems and SMD Marketing. Wow. And also an aspiring vlogger, content creator of Emperor. Trailblazers, help me welcome Mr. Carl Dominic Fajardo. Hi, Sir Carl. Hello, Ma. How are you? Uh, it's my pleasure to be here. Thank you. It's my pleasure to be here with you as well. How's life? Um, it has been great. Uh, a lot of challenges, but really thriving in okay. terms of growth. How's love life, if I could ask? <laughs> You're friends with Vinci, Mom, yes. so it's doing well. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> I'm so glad to hear that. Before we start, by the way, Sir Carl, with our Chikahan for tonight, let us do some challenges to make this night even more entertaining. <laughs> we'll be doing the Whisper Challenge. This game is actually adopted from the talk show Jimmy Fallon. The Whisper Challenge works like this. The other person puts on the headphones with loud music on and the other person then picks up the card and reads the phrase on the card. And the person wearing the headphones guesses what the other person just <laughs> said. So, okay, let's start this with a trial. I'll start first. I'll be wearing the headphones and you will read in front of me the phrase and whoever loses the game will dance. Right. Are you up for the <laughs> challenge? Um, do I have a choice? <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't no. have a choice. Right. Okay, let's start. Okay. I will pick, okay. The card pick the card. And... Hold on. Okay. <laughs> I love eggs. <laughs> I love eggs. <laughs> I love cake. I love eggs. I, I love a piece of cake. <laughs> <laughs> How many guesses, man? <laughs> Did I get it right? I love eggs. Nearly there. Oh, I love eggs. Okay. Grab <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. Nah. okay. I yeah. love eggs. Get okay, one, mom. please. Okay. What? Uh, again, last. Siso. <laughs> no. <laughs> ah, sing a song. Oh my goodness. Yay. Sing a song. Okay, it's sing a song. All right. How many uh, words? Um, maybe two more. Two more. Okay. Who's keeping Ay, you're the gonna score? Pick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mom, I think mom is keeping the score. <laughs> okay. All right. Holy night. Holy night. Holy night. Holding hands? <laughs> holding hands? No, no, no. I'm <laughs> holy night. I holy, holy night. night. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's see in here. Thank you. Huh? Gadget. Got do it, student. <laughs> <laughs> no. Just do it. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, so one last, one last. Okay, one, one last, last round, yeah. Alright, alright, I'll get one. I have to win this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Um I love oat. I love oat. I love oat. I love oats? Did I get it right? Um right or wrong. Okay, so brag S. <laughs> <laughs> Can that be considered? Can I get a one point? <laughs> Sir? Sige, sige. Alright, ma'am. A piece of cake. Hmm? A piece of cake. 
Nice. A piece of cake. French fries. <laughs> Samo. <laughs> A piece of cake? I won. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's it. I hope the viewers had fun. So let's start with our chikahan for tonight. Let's start by um, you, Sir Carl, sharing your experience, your journey here in USTP. What was the course and batch that you graduated from? I was a information technology graduate, uh, batch 2016. Mm -hmm. Were you the one who chose your program? What were the factors that you considered? If not, who or what influenced you? It was definitely hard picking a course when I graduated high school because I really didn't know uh, what I would love to do. No? So I had no idea. Uh, so I took on different entrance exams with different schools and gladly I was um, accepted at USTP no? mm -hmm. to, to uh, choose a subject. Although I was accepted at others as well. So I, I encountered information technology because I believe that um, part of the course would be about game development, mm -hmm. all right? But sadly... Was it? Well, it was not. <laughs> <laughs> IT was so broad, it was talking about database, right, right. Um, systems, mm -hmm. uh, programming. Mm -hmm. It's so broad, but it didn't encapsulate um, game development. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, 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 I believe that, but I was really grateful. Would you say that part of your consideration as a a uh, freshman student would be to research about the course first before actually enrolling. Definitely. Right. So it was my mistake, no? although I, I attribute um, what I have achieved because mm -hmm. of my course right. as well. Um, but it definitely pays to research your course first. <laughs> uh, what are the uh, no, true, true. subjects before enrolling? Can you walk us through your work experience? Where did you start working and what do you currently do? So when I graduated, I, I believe uh, within the first month I was hired. Oh! Yes. Um, it's so very impressive. I was actually referred for the job. Oh, okay. So <laughs> but you're really good, for sure. Uh, yes, ma'am. Even at a very young age. I believe the exposure mm -hmm. uh, from extra coup and then certain uh, curricular exposures mm -hmm. from the school that got me referred. Networking. So, networking, yeah. And it was very um, nerve-wracking because I was interviewed in Manila mm -hmm. yeah, for the job. And my training really helped, in a sense, it okay. to prepare me. Okay, and <laughs> what do you job. currently do now? I'm currently uh, into the IT sector or the mm -hmm. IT industry. We make programs for uh, and software for certain clients, and what, whatever they need. And I'm also into marketing consultancy. Mm -hmm. So I, I am enlisted by different companies that are struggling with their sales. Uh, B2B companies, business to business. So then I teach their sales team or I revamp their sales process to make sure that their um, sales are on track uh, for their yearly goals. Amazing. Now, um, I know that you already mentioned earlier that the course that you graduated from is aligned to yes. your current <laughs> profession, right? Yes. Can you give us the details and how exactly it is aligned? So my first job was um, a uh, publishing company, mm -hmm. but they were selling uh, computer books. So actually, I was hired as a um, sales representative or consultant mm -hmm. for that company. However, the one um, uh, hiring determinant that I was hired was because uh, I had an IT background. So there was a test, of course, you will not be hired right away. So there was an exam to be um, uh, passed and a training. And my IT uh, background in terms of um, how does infrastructure work, uh, how, how important information technology is pertaining to relating to the product at hand really helped to get me hired. And uh, that job really helped me to have a capital mm -hmm. to the businesses that I would in um, start and also join. Amazing. Okay, you mentioned earlier that you had to go through a lot um, like the exams and yes. all that. <laughs> Can you walk us through that um, phase, that um, the, the exam and then the interviews? 
that was face to face. It was yes, that it was, was before COVID, right? Yes, it was really face to face, and I was very intimidated because um, I was booked for a ticket um, the morning mm -hmm. because uh, the interview was at lunch, and then I was booked to return in the evening. Mm -hmm. So I thought. Uh, what kind of company uh, <laughs> would book me a ticket so that they can interview? When they can interview me online, right? Mm -hmm. Via or Skype. Over the phone. Oh yeah, or over the phone. So I was very nervous because I was I I, I didn't have any job experience. So when I, when I got there, I was interviewed by one of the heads and also the owner, uh, since they were very serious with um, their uh, people coming in the company. So there was also an exam, proficiency exam, um, English exam a math exam, mm -hmm. which I was um, not so good at at the time, and also a um, psych psychological exam. And then there was a series of interviews after, and uh, I think a week or so training before they really, uh, I was officially hired. Mm -hmm. yeah. how, did, how did it feel? Like, the, the, I assume that was only one day, because you mentioned earlier you were booked for a flight back yes. here. Yes. The, I mean, but by the night, right? Yes, so you uh -oh. did all that. The, the interviews mm -mm. and the exams, the, exam, yeah. <laughs> the entire day. Yes, ma'am. How did it feel? Was it overwhelming for someone who never went through it, an interview before? <laughs> it was very um, overwhelming, ma'am Grace. In fact, I really believe when I went home, I told my parents that there's a big chance that I wouldn't get accepted <laughs> because I wasn't aware that there was an exam mm -hmm. and I was um, a nervous wreck when I realized that one owner, the owner himself will be interviewing me. So. I really thought that I did bad mm -hmm. compared to the other applicants that was there. But um, gladly, out of the many that applied and re was referred for the job, I was the one accepted. Amazing. <laughs> I keep on saying amazing, but you are amazing, <laughs> Thank truly. You, okay, so you mentioned earlier that that was your very first job interview, yes. right? What were the preparations that you had to go through or you prepared for yourself? Because I understand. IT yes. um, here in USTP, I'm not so sure, mm. but I think you didn't have um, like a subject that would prepare you how Correct. to answer interview Correct. questions, right? right? How did you personally do it? That's a really great question, ma'am. No? Um, for me, IT really prepared me um, in terms of my technical skill and technical know-how. But you're correct, um, it's not part of the curriculum regarding yeah. <laughs> job interview. So, uh, USTP really helped me in terms of having those kinds of organizations such as Debate Society. So I was also a member of Debate Society, also a president. So um, that really helped me as well. And um, USTP also sent me, I believe, in Singapore mm -hmm. in the Youth Model Association. It's not modeling thing, but mm -hmm. I mean Congress thing. Right, so right. that really helped me gain confidence. Mm -hmm. And also in terms of preparation for interviews, it really pays to um, have your English game on point because mm -hmm. um, in Manila as well, it's very right. important that you speak fluent English. So days prior, um, I, I spoke English even in, at home mm -hmm. because we are very Bisaya family. My mm -hmm. friends are very Bisaya, like hard Bisaya, mga gahit kag nilitokan. Right. So in the previous years, uh, in the previous days, um, I, I practiced my English mm -hmm. so that it's more free flowing right. <laughs> in That's the interview the thing day. For us, um, second language learners, yeah. right, for the English, mm -hmm. we had to really practice otherwise Correct. because we're not born yes, with it, right? Yes, definitely. So if you wouldn't use it in a daily basis, it, mm. you wouldn't really get yourself better. Correct. Right. <laughs> Delving in your resume, you were really an active student leader. Yes. Uh, I met, you mentioned earlier, I heard you saying that you were brought to Singapore, mm. you were the president of the debate circle, right? Yes. How did these experiences help you in your career now? Like. Um, I, I know that you mentioned earlier that you gained confidence somehow, yes. but apart from that, what, was there anything else aside from confidence? Maybe networking? Yes, definitely. So one of the things that I really liked about um, my experience with USDP is uh, when you're um, an uh, active student leader, no? they, they get to give you a lot uh, more roles that you're ready for. So you're not chosen uh, or you're not um, part of the group if you know how to do everything. So most of the things that were thrown at us, we had no experience whatsoever. Mm -hmm. So that right. really helped me in terms of going to the real world mm -hmm. because uh, most of the things that you'll have to do, you're not trained about it. Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> like I mentioned in our job, this, there was a training, but that's just 30% of mm -hmm. um, what I had to know uh, before being right. sent on field. So USDP in the uh, student leadership program was really good. There were great mentors, mm -hmm. there were great people. 
um, I really benefited from that and that's why I'd like to also acknowledge, uh, encourage um, other trailblazers to delve into uh, student leadership and if not um, there's a lot of other ways other ways organizations outside of the school right. that the school is um, connected with all right our topic for tonight's alumni career talk is more in acing virtual mm -hmm. interviews can you share to us if you can recall your very first um, job virtual job interview did you have uh, <laughs> did you ever go through that or is it now that you're doing it for the company um, I definitely went through uh, like a second phase of interview, third phase, but it was uh, done online. Uh -huh. So the first one was done face to face, and the other interviews was um, done online. Mm -hmm. And yeah, how was it? It was good in a sense uh, because I, I didn't have to see them face to face because uh, there's definitely an advantage when you don't have to look at them in the eye. You know? Yeah. So you you can look at your at your screen, so it it minimizes the nervousness that you have. Mm -hmm. And you're in your comfort zone in a sense because um, you can be at your home. Right, you're you can in a be at your space, yes, right? you can be at your favorite coffee shop or um, working uh, co-working space. So it's definitely more advantageous for me uh, compared to the physical job interview. Mm -hmm. What would you say for other people's um, situation? Mm -hmm. Example, like in my case. I don't really like doing interviews online because it, <laughs> yes. it's kind of weird looking at mm, yourself correct. talking. Correct. It's okay if you talk like this when I'm looking at you, mm -hmm. you're looking at me, but if I'm doing it online, I would be seeing myself. And <laughs> yes. It's kind of weird looking. Uh -huh. I don't know, but what would you say for people like me mm. that would go through um, virtual interviews and, you know, what would you say to us that we can do? That's a good thing for, number one, like I've um, um, said, ma'am, um, it's a great advantage to do a job interview online because there's less preparation involved. You don't have to travel, um, like you've said, which I really like, is that you're in your safe space. So certain tips that you can do is, um, even if it's face-to-face, -face, especially if it's a job interview, still dress to impress, no? Sure. So you can wear your boxers, you can wear your, you know, but one determining factor that uh, people make an impression of if in interviews, especially in the interviewer is that how you dress. So that still holds the same weight um, during uh, in a virtual interview. So you have to really dress to impress. True. And second tip I'd like to say is that uh, uh, which I, I, I still master because like you, I look at myself in the camera. But one thing, um, one advice is that you look at the device uh, camera instead. Mm -hmm. So in the camera, don't look at yourself but the camera. Okay. So meaning um, it creates an illusion with your uh, uh, the person that's interviewing you, that you're looking at him or her in the eye. Mm -hmm. uh, because when you look at your own um, reflection, it's not, it's like just, it also seems like you're looking <laughs> at yourself. Right. So that's the second tip. And number three is that really accept that um, you'll always be nervous. <laughs> even right now, when mm -hmm. I'm talking to you before the talk, um, I've also felt nervous. And even um, that I have won a national competition for speech. Um, I've always felt nervous. It's like accepting it. And in fact, um, you rewire yourself in thinking that um, nervousness makes you more alert, definitely. Mm -hmm. True. It makes, it pumps adrenaline in your brain, in your body, so that you can force out more ideas. Mm -hmm. So if you think at it that's, that way, instead of a hurdle, it, it benefits you more. True, true. And if you are nervous, especially in interviews, yes. whether it's virtual or Face to face, it would really mean that you're very interested on the Correct. position, right? Amazing, because amazing insight. If you're not, that in, you really care, right? right? <laughs> if you don't really want the job or the yes. position, you wouldn't really mind how you would come across. Correct, amazing. What would you say about the notion that English is very important, or that you have to be proficient or fluent in English when attending job interviews? What's your stand on that? That's a really great question, ma'am. I, I'd love to say otherwise, I'd love to say it's not important, um, but it's just a status quo, mm -hmm. alright? Um, businesses look for people who communicate well, True. whether it's a programming job, whether it's a technical job, True. especially in sales, especially on different departments, even in HR, even mm -hmm. in, it's very important mm -hmm. that you're fluent in English. I, I hope I can say otherwise, but that's just the reality right now. Of course, there are progressive ways of, um, com there's progressive companies right now that, that doesn't look at that. Mm -hmm as a hiring factor but 
unfortunately, majority do sure. hire in communication skills because however technical or skilled you are as a person mm -hmm. or, a given, um, or, or in a given department or in a given job role, if you cannot communicate well with your um, colleagues, with your boss, mm -hmm. that will be a problem long term. Sure. And a lot of companies are losing money because um, there was a study that uh, companies have a not so good uh, inter-department communication which means there are a lot of problems because there's not identified beforehand. Mm -hmm. there, will be, there will also be a lot of um, overhead in terms of costing mm -hmm. because um, meetings will be, uh, no, meetings will be uh, made just because to iron out those communication problems, right? Sure. And those goals. So what I would like to say is uh, for the trailblazers is to really invest on your communication. I mean, do not get discouraged if you're not that good. Mm -hmm. I was never really good. I'm still mastering it even today. Just to get started today, step by step, watch videos, um, improvement videos uh, that you can watch for to, flu um, to have fluency in English, and also tips in public speaking and communication as well. All right. And I, one thing about, you know, what you mentioned earlier about practicing yes. speaking English even when at home. Mm -hmm. I think another factor that we could also contribute to that is if you practice, make sure that you practice it the right way. Correct. Even if you speak in English mm -hmm. wherever you go, but you, you keep on practicing the wrong thing, <laughs> you'll never get better. Correct. Right? Yes. It's just uh, like playing basketball. If you dribble, what, what do you, is that dribble that you call it? Yes. Like, if you dribble the wrong way, you'd never get you know, the good ways of doing yes. it, right? I'd like to plus one on that. Um, the foundation is very uh, important. Mm -hmm. The right diction, the True. right pronunciation. Uh, rather than you foster the wrong um, foundation in terms of speaking English. And one thing that I'd like to add, if I still have time, is yes, that... <laughs> um, the, the one thing uh, that's very dangerous even in the workplace and even in uh, when we were in college or high school is that there's still this um, thinking that certain people are better in English than others, uh, which is I, which is not. Uh, I don't want to uh, really um, push for that idea because uh, when I was in elementary, I was really not a fluent English speaker, so I, I stutter a lot. My pronunciation was a funny thing. So I, I joined also a lot of competitions when I was younger, and I always lost. <laughs> That's why I've won. Uh, I've attributed that to winning um, more later in life because I, I've, I've lost a lot when I was younger. So it's not really a discouragement that you're not good now. Mm -hmm. What matters is what you do about it True. today. True. Yeah. What you do to make yourself better. Yes, right? correct. How can one calm the nerves when doing the job interview? Good, good follow-up, ma'am. <laughs> so it's a good question. I've always, I've already told you that especially it's normal. For, I'm sorry to interrupt, yeah. but especially for those people who would know that their English is not really that good. Yes. So they, their, you know, their nervousness is maybe more than the usual. Yeah. Because they know that they'd be asked in English. So Correct. what would you say how they can calm their nerves? All right. So I have some technical advice. So I, I wish there was a secret recipe or that you get used to it over time, but you really always get nervous. Right. So one tip I'd like to, uh, which is very obvious, is to practice. Mm -hmm. So really know beforehand what you're going into. Mm -hmm. So just like this event, I've, I've asked the organizer, uh, Ma'am Anjali, uh, what is the event all about so that I can practice beforehand or I can prepare beforehand. So mm -hmm. most of the nervousness or the mistakes we do is that we're not prepared. True. So it's, um, in public speaking or communication, True. it's very important that you're ready. Number two, um, very a, a bit of an unconventional advice, but um, use power poses. Mm -hmm. So this was taught to me by one of the, our one of the great sales mentors that I've had before. So you can do a power pose <laughs> to have confidence. So power pose psychologically can change your um, makeup. So power pose power pose is just like like this mm -hmm. or like this, mm -hmm. or you can have an Arnold Schwarzenegger pose just like that. <laughs> Or whatever makes you comfortable as it changes. Uh, humans are very um, active people. Mm -hmm. So what you do will really influence um, how you think and how you feel. So power poses, whatever, whether you look at yourself in the mirror and you do like that or you do like that, you're very handsome, you're very, you know, you're good. So affirmations mm -hmm. is uh, linked with uh, power poses as well. Number three tip amongst the many uh, that I can give um, to erase the nervousness is beforehand you do a tongue twister mm -hmm. or you do a speaking exercise so there's a lot online so you can do riddles mm -hmm. 
you can you can do it in the car you can do it while commuting you can do it uh, before your job interview uh, like seashell seashore mm -hmm. whatever you can do that for 15 to 20 minutes and you'll be glad mm -hmm. because it's just like oiling an engine mm -hmm. that it's ready when you get to the interview or you get to the event thank you <laughs> I, I also learned from that. I didn't know, especially the second one. <laughs> right. um, power poses with yes, power affirmation. Poses. I like yes. that. How did USTP prepare you for the world of work? I know that your experiences mm -hmm. uh, before as a student leader and all the, um, you know, the, the contests that you had won before, yes. that is part of that. But apart from those, what, uh, how did USTP in general prepare you for the, field, for the world of work? All right, thank you, thank you, ma'am. That's a great question. No? So USTP really prepared me in a sense that uh, it didn't hold my hand, it, it didn't accepted uh, my excuses, it didn't accept my excuses as a student. If I it really had to pass, I had to do the work involved to pass. So my instructors, the the institution, the, the system. Although there's no such thing as a perfect system, it made sure that the persons who graduated are capable people. Yes. And in fact. That's why we're very confident and very happy with our my IT batch because mm -hmm. we're all employed. 90% uh, are employed and most of, of them have thrived even outside of IT because for information technology it's such a broad uh, it's such a broad course right. that you get to be trained in sef, um, different mm -hmm. um, aspects of the information technology world where which which is amazing because. Mm -hmm. There's no um, company or organization that doesn't involve, in a sense, in any way without IT. So, USTP has really helped me in training, number two, in making sure that I'm equipped, and number three, in not um, flourishing excuses for students that doesn't study, that doesn't pass on time, that doesn't um, show on time. That was very important because if it wasn't because of that, um, I might as well be terminated <laughs> with my first job. Ba? Amazing. Okay. <laughs> what career advice can you give to our fellow uh, trailblazers, whether they are fellow alumni or yes. students tuning in right now, how they can thrive in their career as a USTP trailblazer? Amazing. <laughs> That's a super great question no, in terms of growth. So I, I can tell you, I, I can certainly say advice about Bitcoin, about <laughs> cryptocurrency, about uh, certain businesses to start. But the one thing that really had um, made dividends for me, even if I told um, you, ma'am, that USTP was really influential in terms of providing me the training that I needed to graduate. Uh, one advice that I led, I'd like to give to trailblazers is really invest on yourself. Uh, most of the people um, that I have found that have really flourished in their work, that have got promotions, that have started businesses, that are um, apex predators in their industries, uh, it's not really about financial is that their continuous drive for improvement. With whatever they do, be it in IT, be it in, um, they're an accountant, uh, they're a programmer, uh, like me, I'm in sales, in marketing, they find ways to constantly learn and improve their craft. So most people, the majority of people in the world, when they graduate, the learning stops when they graduate. I, I, I know that's not true for the academe because you have to research, you have to know. Right. But in certain industries, uh, most people stagnate. Mm -hmm. And then they begin to question, why is, not my, why is my life not different than three years ago? Mm -hmm. Because they're the same person three years ago. So it's not really a good thing when people tell you, you haven't changed. That's not really a good thing. <laughs> right. Because you haven't, that means you didn't grow. Right. So invest in your learning, whether this, this is an amazing world right now where information is mostly free right. and it's in your pocket right. so um, there's a lot of podcasts uh, videos available True. even invest in courses that um, most CEOs I know invest in at least 200,000 pesos of their money every year mm -hmm. to enroll in courses True. amazing even if um, they're already uh, CEOs right mm -hmm. owners of company they still invest on learning more things and new things pertaining to their craft and even outside their craft so invest in yourself mm -hmm. learn every day and just like Tony Robbins has said, skip, uh, you can skip one meal, but never skip reading in a day. That's so, that's so great. <laughs> that's so great. I like it. I think uh, as a joiner in what you said earlier, when you said that, you know, it's an amazing world right now. Yes. The, the world that we live in, mm. because everything is at the tip of our no, hands, right? In, in our pockets and everything. 
So it's really up to the person or the, the applicant. Yes. And, you know, um, they, they, it's not about they don't know yes. what to do. It's mm -hmm. just you just have to know where to look, yes, where to amazing. go, right? <laughs> and of course, the drive, self-drive. Because if everything else will be useless if you yourself is not Correct. really, right? If mm. you're not determined to make yourself better. Yes. I agree. <laughs> Sir Carl, thank you so much for thank your you. time. I had, thank you. I learned a lot and I had such a great time with you. Me too, ma'am. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Stay tuned, mga Katrill Blazers. When we return, we'll be talking to another alumna as she shares her success story. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back in a jiffy.